our teachers are excited about raising the bar for our students and they're ready. This first grade class at Ann Elementary will be one of the first to take the new ISAT. By the time they're in third grade, the test will be harder. It's a plus because it's more higher level thinking skills, it's more, more critical thinking, it's more process oriented. And that's, that's what's happening in the other, other countries. Kids, their curriculum is expanding or ours is narrowing, but this is a step more in that direction. Interim Superintendent Cal Lee says the higher standards set for the ISAT is due to the Common Core Standards, taking over 45 states across the country. It's becoming a national standard. The implementation is always the issue, and that's, that's, that's one of my concerns here is you know, this is an underfunded district. Right now, students at the high school level take tests at a level comparable to the Common Core, but students in grades K through 8 do not. It's causing a large gap in standardized test scores across the district. We're doing like backwards planning. So before we just plan like a unit, we look at the standards, think about what the expectations are for what those students need to learn, and then we focus our lessons around that. Testing will also take place online with the Common Core. We keep relying on our local folks, and our local funding is about 56% of what we get draw in. And it's, the state gives us about 30, and the federal government gives us 14%. It's interesting, they, they give us about 44% of the money, but they, they want to tell us 100% what to do, and yet they won't help us to pay for it. It's a collaborative effort among teachers to get the job done without outside help. Our teachers are doing such a great job at problem solving and coming together on their own. We've spent a lot of our team meeting times uh, delving into the Common Core, getting to understand what they mean, what our expectations are for our students, and what that means with our teaching and how we need to be raising the bar. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, Quincy.